Hello everybody, welcome to episode 5 of the Full Mingo Road to Glory Football Manager 2020 Career Mode, where we are taking forward Madison FC all the way to the CONCACAF Champions League. If you haven't seen the latest episodes, make sure you go back and watch those first so you know where we are at. If you did watch the last episode, you know that we are in a rough spot right now. But today, we are going to get back on the right track, get back to our winning ways, hopefully get back to the top of the table. But before we get started, if you've been enjoying the series so far, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of this series. And let's get going. All right, so here, if you did see the last episode, this will look familiar to you. A lot of losses. We had four losses in our previous five games. Last episode was rough. So today we are going to be looking, like I said, to turn that around. We are starting with our game against MLS side Colorado Rapids, my former employer in the League Cup second round. Now remember, that is what the board expected of us. So we are done with that expectation. If we get knocked out, the board is still fine. So that's okay. Hopefully we can get a win there. That would be amazing. It is in Colorado at Dick's Sporting Goods Park. It's going to be a tough game. Hopefully we can get a result there. Then we're back in the league away to Hartford, home to Charleston and El Paso. And then we have the U.S. Open Cup first round. Then we're going to be finishing up the episode with an away game to Loudoun United back in the league so we got a lot of games to get through let's get into it all right and for our first game against Colorado Rapids we're going to be trying out a little different tactic now this is something that I am using on just a personal save of mine in the lower leagues in Germany and it has been a tactic that has gone very well for me especially of late with forward Madison we've been giving up a lot of goals this tactic is attacking you do score goals but it's tight in the back and just the setup wise it doesn't allow as much room in the final third for the other team so it is risky i know trying a new tactic in a cup game against an mls side first time trying it after a run of poor form it's not a great time to switch your tactic but what we have been doing just isn't working so this is what we're gonna go with we're gonna try it Again, if we lose the game, it's not a big deal. We've already met our expectations for the cup, but I think that this, with the defensive stability it has and the availability of scoring some goals, I think this could set us up for success in this game. We are going with Jiro Toyama on the left, Don Smart on the right. They've both been playing very well. I think they've earned their spots on the field and JC Banks, we're giving him his opportunity to get back on the run of form that he was two episodes ago. So hopefully he can find that form. We have Valela playing in that deep line playmaker role. The back line is our first choice back line. Midfielders, again, our first choice. And we have Alex Cap in goal, this time playing in his more comfortable sweeper keeper position. So we're going to try this. All right, League Cup round two against the Colorado Rapids. We're kicking off. Let's go, boys. Let's get a result here. Immediately, five minutes in, Taylor Hunter with an injury. We got to take him off. Carl Schneider will be coming on. All right, Colorado has a corner here. Nomley to take it. And Danny Wilson heads it in. 15 minutes in. We are down. one nothing. Good clearance there. Did we just give up a penalty? We just, oh no, come on, we're shooting ourselves in the foot here, boys. Clayton Silva to take the penalty, and he scores. 30th minute, down 2 nothing. There's a halftime whistle, down 2 nothing at half. Run of play-wise, we have possession. We're edging them out in shots and shots on target, just uh, giving up some set-piece goals. Okay, we need to be better in the second half now, come on. Play like you want to win. Play like we want to get into the next round. Finds J.C. Banks. J.C. Banks up to Toyama. He's on the left wing. He pulls it across. Don Smart puts it in with the header. Don Smart. Beautiful goal. That's exactly what we needed, boys. Great way to come out in the second half. Carl Schneider with a throw-in. Finds J.C. Banks on the wing. He drops it to Jiro. Jiro, Eric Leonard. 
header goes just wide. This is much better, boys. Much, much better. Come on. We're starting to run out of time here. It's four extra minutes. Can we get anything in these last couple minutes? Ah, there's the final whistle. I was very happy with that second half. Again, we did edge them out in shots and shots on target and possession. We just couldn't quite get anything from it. Don Smart gets man of the match. Overall, pretty happy with that performance. Oh man, and Taylor Hunter is out for four to seven weeks. All right, boys, we are back this time in the league against Hartford. Away from home, we're going to stick with this new formation that we have. I want to get a little bit more familiar with it, use it a little bit more often. I think it can really be good for us. Us. the second half against the Rapids was already much better than the first so hopefully we can do that we have a couple of changes here Batista is in for Ariano who reached the yellow cards limit Schneider is in for Taylor Hunter who of course got injured and we moved Eric Leonard back to that deep line playmaker role and we're bringing Brandon Eaton in in the middle we have Alexis Valela still on the bench so he can come in to that defensive mid role if need be. We also brought Paolo Jr. back from the bench onto the starting 11. So let's get going. Let's see if we can turn around this poor run of form that we're on, especially in the league. Come on, the boys. Hartford is 14th in the league. They're basically the exact opposite of us. They have four wins in their last five games. In the league, we have four losses. So we're coming in. Even though we are higher placed, we are coming in as the underdogs right now on form. All right, now with the throw in. Terrell Lowe, the long throw. Here we go, into the middle. Jeff Michaud on the edge of the box. Brandon Eaton just over the crossbar. And that'll bring us to halftime. All right, second half now. Show them how it's done. There we go. Batista clears out to Smart. Smart finds JC Banks at the top. JC Banks puts it home. JC Banks with his 12th goal of the season, assisted by Don Smart. That is fantastic. That's exactly what we needed coming into this second half. Cross gets blocked, but they're still on the ball. Now it's up to Guzman, who has a good shot, but luckily Cap tips it to the crossbar. And Hartford has a throw in here. Dalgard throws into Williams, drops back to Dalgard, crosses in, it's too easy, way too easy. Tyreek Johnson puts it away. He was wide open in the middle of the field. And it gets cleared, and now Guzman is on the ball, one-on-one -on -one with Alex Cap, who makes the save. What are you guys doing? Just standing around, hoping that Cap can do something about it. There's the final whistle, a draw against Hartford. It was away from home, a draw is a good result we'll take that i feel like we could have gotten the win here and our our run without a win keeps going all right we have the draw for the first round of the u.s open cup let's draw all and see who we got and boom we are playing minnesota united the hits just keep on coming so it turns out minnesota is actually not an mls team they're in the championship still i think we can all agree that they are a higher level than we are currently at we are going to be the home team, so that is a bit of an advantage, but that is going to be a very tough one. We just can't buy a break here, boys. All right, there is the squad that we're going to be using for our next game, a home match against Charleston Battery. We're bringing the Polish Panther back up top. Wojciech, Wojciech is back in the side. Hopefully he's back in the goals. Come on, the boys. We need a win here. Forward Madison FC is getting back in the wins today. I can feel it. Come on. Here's a free kick. Paulo Jr. Vojcik misses the header, but it's a penalty. Paulo Jr. to take. Come on, Paulo. I believe in you. Our star player. Yes. Paulo Jr. Get in. His third goal of the season. Good way to start. Now, we need to keep this up. We've been doing well. We haven't been able to keep the pressure up of late here's paulo jr gets a steal he's going down the right wing can he find anybody in the middle he's gonna take it himself but doesn't score we do get a corner from it vocek goes in don smart on the edge of the box don smart from the edge of the box it wasn't the hardest hit ball but it found its way into the corner don smart beautiful goal from outside the box here we go torello with the long throw Vocic is in the middle. Header goes just over the bar. This is much better than our previous games have been. There's halftime. 2-0 over Charleston Battery. We're doing well so far. 
we need to keep it up for once we need to finish this game see it out Carlson with the throw in it's in the middle Ooh, that header was just wide all right Don smart on the wing he cuts inside he's gonna have one Don smart with his second goal of the game his second wonder strike from outside of the box Don smart is on fire all right I may have really ruined things here I thought I had another midfielder on the bench but JC Banks is gonna be playing midfield now let's hope it doesn't come back to bite us Terrell Lowe on the edge of the box whips it in Don smart almost has his third of the game blow the whistle there it is finally our first win in way too long very very happy with that Don smart obviously man of the match with his two goals he was playing out of his mind today so after week 14 of the USL League One season, we are sitting in ninth place. There is a tight, tight battle here from 5th all the way down to 11th is one point separates all of us. So we are in ninth, but we can easily, with a couple of good performances and some things going on around the league, can easily be in the playoff spot. So it isn't out of hand yet. We do need to turn it around. We finally got our first win in a number of games. So with a draw in the last game, a win in this game, hopefully that is setting us up for a series of wins, at least in the league. Honestly, I know the board wants us to get, I think it's third round in the US Cup, but if we lose to Minnesota United, I'm not too upset about that and then we're able to just focus on the league so it wouldn't be the end of the world i'm not gonna throw it i obviously want to win as much as possible but if we do get knocked out it's not the end of the world there is the squad for the next game against el paso same starting 11 they got the job done last week let's see if they can keep this up keep the momentum going i actually have a midfielder on the bench this time so we won't run into that again let's get some points all right immediately they have a free kick el paso zola's on the edge of the box he goes back across header wide Ooh wee a little dicey there in the first minute of the game we're dominating in shots again all right here we go throw in schneider with a long throw doesn't really find anybody Don Smart's there to put it in. Vochik with the header just over the bar. We're doing okay here. Nil-nil at the break. Things are pretty even. Let's go. Second half now. They're still on the ball here. Velasquez now down the left wing. Absolutely torches his man. Luckily, he cannot shoot to save his life. Two wing players are changing. Zaire Bartley and Jiro Toyama are coming on. Hopefully, they can provide us with a little bit of spark. Ten minutes left in the game. Come on, boys. I don't want another draw. We need a win. We need the points. Okay, we have a free kick here. Torello goes in. Turbo over the bar. There's the final whistle. It was a draw. Stats-wise, you can look at that and say that's probably deserved. About even on shots. Shots on target and possession. We played decently. We're creating chances. Finally, our defense is starting to look halfway solid. But we're just not taking our chances, and that really seems to be the uh, resounding theme of the last few weeks. U.S. Open Cup now against Minnesota United at Bree Stevens Field. We're going with basically the same starting 11 as the last game. We are bringing Taylor Hunter off the bench into his starting left back spot. He's not quite fully fit for a full 90, but we need his quality on the pitch. So he's coming on to the squad, playing at left back, and then we're bringing J.C. Banks back up top. Vocek hasn't quite been getting it done for us. We need to uh, try some different options. We're going to go with JC Banks here. And then Zaire Bartley, I'm going to try playing him up top as a sub. I don't think he's quite ready to start a game, especially at this level. But as a sub, I think he can do some damage. So he is going to be on the bench, ready to come on when we need him. Let's see what we can do against Minnesota United in the open cup here we go kicking off against minnesota united in the open cup come on the boys chacon on the left wing starting off oof robin load with the header over the bar not a great start for us but that's okay didn't result in the goal here we go long throw from torello jeff michaud don smart any what you gotta be kidding me mate don smart was offside okay so it wouldn't have counted anyways but you gotta at least put it in the back of the net. Here we go. Turbo goes up the field. Finds Banks who drops it down to Paolo. Paolo 
Finds Brandon Eaton, who finds J.C. Banks. He's through on goal. J.C. Banks, he doesn't miss those. He slots it home in the bottom corner. J.C. Banks is proving what an integral part of this team he really is. And he is coming back for that starting spot. He said, no, 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 Vocek. This is mine. There's the halftime whistle. 1-0 to forward Madison at the break. Let's see if we can keep this going second half. Here we have a corner, Hunter. Falls to Chacon, who's got a lot of room in front of him. Takes the shot, but Alex Cap is ready for it against his former team. Oh boy, Gonzalez. Oh, Augustine Gonzalez from outside the box. From far outside the box. 73rd minute, not the time that we wanted to be giving up a goal. Zaire Bartley's coming on. Hopefully he can get something done here. Coming into the closing minutes, I don't think we can handle extra time. We need to finish this. Come on, boys. No, they have a free kick. Not now. Oh, thank God that went over the bar. That's the final whistle. We're going to extra time, boys. We're not physically prepared for extra time here. And I already used all my subs. So this is it, boys. We're in the second half of overtime now. Come on. They have a free kick. Not good. Alonzo on the edge of the box. Luckily, just outside. Schneider's able to clear it. Bartley picks it up. Come on, Zaire Bartley. He goes all the way across to Don Smart. Don Smart from the edge of the box. Don Smart. Oh, just outside the just outside the bar. Coming into the closing minutes here. That is it. We are into penalties. Just like the first round of the League Cup. We go to penalties. First round of the Open Cup. JC Banks. He doesn't miss. JC Banks. He's so reliable. Now, Amaria. Come on, Alex Cap. Doesn't even need to make a save. Amaria puts it wide. That is great news for us. Turbo Tobin. Let's go. Come on, Turbo. Right down the middle. That's what I'm talking about. Robin Load. Alex Cap. Come on. He's going left. I told you, but it doesn't matter because he hit the bar. Oh my god, Don Smart. Don Smart. Let's go. Come on. Don Smart. Yes. Don Smart. Three goals in a row. They haven't scored one yet. This could be it. My heart. Oh my god. Alex Cap hasn't actually had to make a save yet, but he's still my hero. Jan Gregos. Puts that one home. Alex Cap goes the right way. Just doesn't quite get there. Okay, if we can score this one, Zaire Bartley, he came on in the second half, I gave him a shot, now he's really earning it here, Zaire Bartley, to win us the game, send us into the next round of the Open Cup, Zaire Bartley, yes, Zaire Bartley, the young prospect, woo, oh my god, need a stiff drink and a cold shower after that one. I have a feeling that that could be where we really turn this around. We've been doing better with a uh, win and a couple draws here, but beating a team that's a league above us in the cup on penalties, that could be a huge morale boost that we really need right now. All right, and we have the draw for the second round of the U.S. Cup. Three, two, one, and go. There we are. Madison against Mississippi. They are in the National League Division 1. That is three divisions below us. And they are currently third in that division. So they're doing pretty well for their division. They are three divisions below us. It will be in Mississippi. But that's a much better draw than our first round. So I am happy to take that. Hopefully we can get a result there and keep going in that cup competition. In our last game of the episode, it's gonna be a tough one. Loudoun United, first place in the league. We're going away from home. Not an easy game here. JC Banks has solidified himself back on the top. So he is starting at the top of the formation. Everything else is staying the same. So being away from home against the first place team in the league, we're going cautious in this one. We're playing four set pieces. We're going to try to nick a goal, stay sturdy at the back, hopefully get the win. Even a draw would be great at this point. We need all the points we can get to at least stay in that race for those promotion playoff places. Come on, the boys. Kicking off. Here we go. We got a free kick. Hunter goes in. Jeff Michaud, right away, third minute of the game, his second goal of the season from the free kick. I'm a managerial master. I'm telling you, I said play for free kicks. 
We immediately get a free kick. And what do we do? We score a goal. Terrell Lowe gets the steal. Jeff Michaud finds JC Banks. JC Banks puts it away. JC Banks with his 14th goal of the season. In the sixth minute, we are up 2 0 on the first place team in the league. This is amazing. And we have a corner here. Hunter puts it in. Tobin finds Ariano, who puts it just over the bar. All right. Presley has it on the left wing now. He goes right by his man. Terrell Lowe with the tackle of the century. Now, J.C. Banks is up on the right wing. He doesn't really have anybody up there with him. Yes, he does. Don Smart, who puts it across? Don Smart with the full volley across his body, finds the opposite corner. Oh, my God. My heart can't handle this right now. Halftime, 3-0 over the top team in the league. Second half now. We need to hold on to this. We can't let this slip out of our fingers. Come on. Presley's through. Oh, Oh, man. Luckily, he hits the outside of the bar. Here we go. Ten minutes left. Come on, the boys. See it through. Okay, they have a free kick now. Goes all the way across. And Eric Sorga is there to head it home. Nobody around him. Not great defending there. We have five minutes left. We need to hold on to this. We got another. That's a throw in. Hunter throws it all the way in. Doesn't go to anybody. Toyama gets a steal. Bartley gets a shot off. See it through. We're almost there. There's the final whistle. Three to one over the top team in the league. Forward Madison's coming for you. We are back on our game. I'm telling you, that cup win over Minnesota United is going to be a catalyst in our season. We have a new formation. Took a little bit to get familiar with it. We're at that point now. That cup game, the win on penalties against the team in the league above us. Morale couldn't be higher. Now we just beat the first place team in the league. We are coming for those top teams. All right, now that everybody has played 16 games, we are sitting in seventh place. We actually started the episode in eighth, so we have only moved up one spot, but much, much better. And I have a much better feeling about moving forward in the league. If we look at our schedule, so this was last episode, a lot of losses. We did get that one win over Vegas. But then in this episode, we started with the loss against the Rapids, although... They are an MLS team. It was a cup game. Not that big of a deal. And then from there, we haven't lost one yet. So we got two draws, three wins since that first loss in this episode. We're starting to turn it around. This one in particular, like I've said three times now, that is the catalyst of our season. That is where we're turning this around. Morale is high. We beat them. We beat the first place team in the league. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. We finally might have found our new favorite tactic. I couldn't have asked for a better episode. And that is where we are going to end today's episode. My heart is still pumping. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm going to just go run laps around my house and cheer. We're sitting in seventh place in the league. We are on a good little run of form here. We're coming back for the top of the table. We're still obviously a ways off, but we're coming back for it. And I am excited to see where we can go with it. If you are excited and you enjoyed that episode, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the family. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of this full Mingo series. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.